It's always risky to bet on rumors. Barry Kian reflects on losing Dune 2 role following Fade Rotha rumors. The role has been given to Elvis star Austin Butler instead. And then, we'll take a closer look at everything we know about the upcoming Dune Part 2. Are you ready to learn all you need to know about the follow-up to the massively successful Dune Part 1? Let's get to it. So let's start with Barry Kian reflecting on the lost Dune 2 role following Fade Rotha rumors. So you're going to rack us tomorrow with the advanced team? Yes, I'm going to Rockies tomorrow with the advanced team. It's been officially announced that 2022's Elvis star, Austin Butler, has been cast to portray Fed Rotha in the highly anticipated Dune Part 2. And while that's exciting news, that also means that the rumors of Barry Keehan taking on the role have been put to bed. Rumors that the Irish star would appear in Dune's sequel have been swirling around for a while. Keehan's performances have grown from strength to strength over the past decade, having made appearances in both hard-hitting independent dramas like Calm with Horses to mainstream black blockbusters like Marvel Cinematic Universe's Eternals. But we also know that Kean faced heavy competition for the role, with Harry Styles, Ty Sheridan, and Butler all in line to portray the menacing Fed Rotha. Kean spoke to the New York Times about the rumor that he was up to play Fed Rotha in Dune Part 2, and admitted that he's a big fan of Dune, and it would have been nice to be a part of it. But it wasn't for me, he said. You have to accept that sometimes. Sometimes it's not for you. With the role going to Butler instead, fans wonder whether he'll be able to live up to their expectations especially since Kian has become somewhat synonymous with portraying troubled, threatening, and often volatile characters. But for all we know, we haven't seen the best of Butler yet, so we'll just have to wait and see. Next, everything we know about Dune Part 2. Your grandfather said, a great man doesn't seek to lead. He's called to it. It will be a long wait before we finally get to see Dune Part 2, with the release date currently set for the 17th of November, 2023, exclusively in theaters. And while it's a global release date, the rollout will be gradual over some international territories, meaning the wait may be even longer for some unlucky people. Production on the Dune sequel started on the 18th of July, 2022, with some pre-shooting taking place in Italy earlier in July. While many die-hard fans sincerely doubted that anyone would be able to do Frank Herbert's 1965 novel, novel any justice, especially after several attempts that were only so-so, Denis Villeneuve and his amazing team did manage to crack the code and delivered an epic that resonated with both critics and audiences all over the world. At the end of the box office run, even with a day one release on HBO Max in the United States, Dune made $401 million worldwide. The movie also raked in a sizable loot of awards, including six Academy Awards, and was nominated for the Best Picture Oscar. With all that in mind, the stakes are even higher for Dune Part two, if that's possible. So, what can we expect from the follow-up? Following, what will Dune Part 2 be about? She was my teacher at the Bene Gesserit School. She's now truth sayer to the Emperor himself. She would like to meet you. Dune Part 2 will tackle the last third of Frank Herbert's book. It'll follow the devastating loss of a big chunk of the House Atreides force on Arrakis, and the deaths of Duncan Idaho, Dr. Kynes, and Duke Leto Atreides. Paul Atreides and his mother, Jessica, are now in league with the Freeman. They're about to go on a new adventure, on which they'll learn about the hostile planet through the eyes of natives while plotting to take back from House Harkonnen what's rightfully theirs. They'll also continue the deeply spiritual path laid before them in the first movie. Aside from that, many other things are are also going on, especially regarding the political intrigue once Emperor Shaddam IV appears in what is left of the story of Dune. There are more than enough threads left, of characters both old and new, to craft a sequel that will weigh at least as much as its predecessor. In the novel, there are also quite a few time jumps and some breezes over some action-heavy moments, offering plenty of room to fill with more good character development and stunning action sequences. We can also expect a stronger focus on Chani, who Zendaya portrays. Chani is a character that doesn't have much of a presence in the first half of the novel, aside from her appearing in Paul's visions. But that should change with the second half of the novel. Hold up, there's more coming up. Next, we'll let you know who will return to reprise their roles, and the new faces that have been added to the second movie. Who will be working behind the cameras to make it as much of a success as its predecessor, and what will happen when it's all said and done? Stay tuned to find out. Let's continue. First up, who will be in Dune Part 2 cast? What are they shouting? Listen, Al-Qaib. Voice from the outer world. It's their name for Messiah.
the follow-up to Dune will, of course, see the return of many characters we were introduced to. In the lead, we'll once again see Timothy Chalamet as Paul Atreides, Rebecca Ferguson as Lady Jessica, Zendaya as Chani, Javier Bardem as Stilgar, and Stellan Skarsgård as Baron Vladimir Harkonnen. Joining them, we will also find Josh Brolin as Gurney Halleck, Dave Bautista as Glossu Raban Harkonnen, Charlotte Rampling as Reverend Mother Mohiam, and Stephen McKinley Henderson as Thufir Hawat. And then there are the new faces, which will include Austin Butler as Fade Rotha Harkonnen, an antagonist with great ambitions, Florence Pugh as Princess Irulan Carino, the daughter of the Emperor, Christopher Walken as Emperor Shaddam IV, and Leia Sedu as Lady Margot, a Bene Gesserit who has a very important mission. But if you're unfamiliar with the book, you'll have to be patient and wait until November 20th. 2023 to find out what that mission is. Next, who is in the Dune Part 2 crew? As the first movie was such a booming success, it's a given that the French-Canadian director and writer Denis Villeneuve, who also worked on Arrival and Blade Runner 2049, will be back and bring the ambitious two-part project to a satisfying completion. He'll again be joined by screenwriter John Spites, who you may recognize from his work on Prometheus and Doctor Strange, and will be penning the script for Dune Part 2, just like he did for the first installment. And in case you were in doubt over who created and recorded the massive original score for Dune Part 1, that would be the renowned Hans Zimmer. And unsurprisingly, he'll also be returning for Part 2, which can only mean that the acclaimed cinematographer Greg Fraser, who also worked on Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, and The Batman, wasn't going to miss out on another go at Dune either. We'll find Joe Walker in the cutting room to edit the movie, and Patrice Vermette has been tapped for production design. When it comes to art direction, Tom Brown will take the lead, with Jacqueline West working on costume design and Donald Moat on the makeup. Dune Part 2 is being co-produced by Legendary Pictures, the rights holder Villeneuve Films, and Warner Brothers Pictures is also in charge of worldwide distribution. And now, what's next after Dune Part 2? Let's hope the follow-up will be as successful as Dune Part 1, as that may mean that director Denis Villeneuve gets what he wants. Villeneuve has already shown interest in adapting Dune Messiah, which could neatly cap off his ideal Dune trilogy. But that depends on whether the upcoming Dune Part 2 does well. Well, in any case, Legendary and Warner Brothers are seemingly very interested in keeping Dune going. Currently, another Dune project is in development, namely Dune the Sisterhood. The Sisterhood is set 10,000 years before the birth of Paul Atreides. The spin-off is highly anticipated and remains one of the high-profile projects currently in the works for HBO Max. At the beginning of the project, Villeneuve was attached to the pilot for The Sisterhood, but as that isn't happening anymore, Chernobyl director Johan Rank took over the first two episodes of the new series earlier in in 2022. In the same vein, John Spatz was attached to the Sisterhood as well, but as he was busy working with Villeneuve on Dune, he was replaced by Diane Adimu John, a name you may recognize from The Haunting of Bly Manor, who will now be serving as lead writer and showrunner on Dune, the Sisterhood. As the series is still knee-deep in production, no release date is known as of yet. Fans of the Dune books will know that there's a total of six books in the series, but even if fans already know they would love to see the entire series be turned into a live-action adventure. Only time will tell if the higher-ups deem the rest of the series worthy of adaptation as well. And that's it. Do you think Austin Butler can live up to the expectations of Fade Rotha? Let us know in the comments what you think, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.